Hi, I'm Stephen from 9.8. In this video, we'll be showing you how to install a Slacker ZS or EC eccentric headset on your bike. There's a separate video that explains how you can determine which Slacker is right for your bike. It's linked in the description. Zero Stack ZS Slacker Cups and External Cup EC Slacker Cups can be mixed and matched to suit your desired head tube angle or available exposed steer tube. Again, refer to the linked video if you haven't already got the slacker that is just right for you and your bike. But never mix slacker cups with other brands of cups, and never mix ZSEC cups with IS cups. Always replace two cups from your bike with two slacker cups, one upper and one lower. Slacker eccentric ZS and EC cups press into the frame. They replace the concentric ZS or EC cups that you already have on your bike. Today we'll install a slacker into this metaframe using a pair of slacker EC cups, upper and lower. The installation procedure for all slacker ZS cups is the same. The procedures in this video apply to both aluminum frames like this one and carbon frames. I have already removed the fork, stem, stem spacers and bearings. Using an extractor, I've removed the headset cups that came on this bike. Now we need to clean the bores in the head tube. Next, check the bore depth in the head tube. Slacker cups require a bore depth of at least 14 millimeters in each of the upper and lower bores. If your bike has less than 14 millimeters bore depth, you must bore it deeper with a quality head tube reaming tool like this one. Additional bore depth cannot be achieved by sanding or other low-tech methods. This bike has sufficient bore depth, so it either came from the factory that way, or someone has already reamed it deeper. The slacker eccentric headset must be aligned to the center line of the frame. Make a mark on the center line on the top and on the bottom. I like to add some tape here to avoid marking the frame. If your frame has clear centerline graphics, this is easy. Just make a mark. But for some bikes, you may need to string a line or find some other way to determine the centerline. Remember to mark the top and the bottom to the rear of the head tube. Slacker ZS and EC kits come with new bearings, wedge rings, top cap, micro spacers, bearing cap and crown race. You should replace all your original hardware with slacker parts. Orange press-in bushings are also provided. To install press-in headset cups, you'll need a headset press. Even inexpensive presses work quite well. I will be using this inexpensive press in this demonstration. Every headset press is a little different, and they all have different flanges and steps. You will have to judge what arrangement on the top gives you the squarest, most stable platform. If the steps help the flange locate directly in the head tube bore, then this might be your best option. If not, you can use the flat side, but you'll have to be very careful to keep the flange centered. Or if you find it better to use the upper press bushing, which is supplied in your slacker kit, you can. It fits in the top bore and provides a square surface that you can use with your press-in tools. It just depends on your bike and your headset press. The goal must be to have a square, stable top support for the headset press to give the best results pressing in the lower cup. Grease the lower head tube bore and the lower slacker cup. I 
I have not greased the cup, just so that the video of the installation process is clear, but you should grease it. Align the notches in the press-in bushing and the cup to the centerline mark, rear of the head tube, and assemble the headset press. Slowly begin to draw the lower cup into the frame. Check frequently that it's drawing in square. Stop immediately if the cup goes slightly crooked. Do not continue or you could damage your frame. If crooked, adjust the position on the headset press and try a little more. If it doesn't immediately straighten, stop. Knock it out and try again. When the cup is pressed in all the way home, check the alignment with the mark and check that it is square with no gap all the way around. Grease the upper head tube bore and the upper slacker cup. Again, I have not greased the cup just to make the video more clear, but you should grease it. Align the upper cup and the upper press in bushing with the mark. You must use the lower press in bushing too, and it must also be aligned with its mark. Assemble the headset press and slowly begin to draw in the upper cup. Check often that the cup is drawing in square. If it goes slightly crooked, stop and adjust the headset press. Try drawing it in a little farther. If it doesn't immediately straighten, then knock it out and start over. Draw it home and check that it is square with no gap all the way around. This is the crown race. It's specific to the lower headset bearing and it must be replaced every time the lower bearing is replaced. They can be tricky to remove without marking the fork and without damaging the crown race. There are lots of techniques for this all over the interweb. I like to use utility knife blades and progressively work it off. 
The Slacker Crown Race can be easily reinstalled using a 1.5 inch ABS or PVC pipe with a coupler. Grease both the upper and lower bearing seats and grease the bearings themselves. And then we'll reinstall the fork. Again, I'm not applying the grease to keep the video clear, but you should grease all these things that I pointed out. Note that bearing cap microspaces are provided so you can adjust the fit of the bearing cap to your frame. Enjoy your new bike geometry. If you have any questions or concerns, contact our customer support team at support at 9.8.ca and we'll be pleased to help you.